Boy, is it windy today. Hello, kitty. Oh, how does she know? It is a windy day. Let's start our stretches. Get the first ones going with the belly shot. Oh, let's see. Let's do the sideways ones first. The newest ones first. One. It was really windy. As if people tune into YouTube videos to talk about the weather. But I'm telling you, it was so windy, I literally saw an old couple get hit by like a gust of wind that they like they literally had to like grab onto each other not to fall over and one dude's like hat blew back into his like parka luckily his parka caught it and his little parka hoodie caught his like baseball cap and they were like looking around and like looking at me and uh, i was like well you know we all have masks on so i can't like smile at them and be like yeah that was a fucker but Holy moly. Yeah, I was walking and I was... I never care about the wind. I never care about the weather. Even after losing a lot of weight, I'm still like... Well, I'm not like freezing to death. But when I was a lot heavier, I definitely got cold less often. Um, here she comes. She thinks that's for her. But yeah, I was out there and I was like, my hands are freezing off. What do I do? And just kept walking. And the wind, I think, was blowing down from the north. But sometimes it would hit the uh, the the streets, would kind of like corral it and make it be like a westward wind. Which is really weird because the, the, the ocean's there. So usually the ocean would blow, most of the time, it blows a, a wind that way. Man, I'm getting blown out here. I'm going to go turn on the, the light real quick. Oh, it's the kitty. That's great. Oop, that's at least 10. Um, yeah, recorded some stuff with Cray last night. Excellent. We actually, we did back-to-back -back, uh, Halo. He had a good point, which was at least, you know, at least in thinking, I don't know if it was like a, a good, good point. But uh, the idea was just like, let's finish Halo before we start anything else. Huh? Okay. Oh, kitty, kitty. Oh, goodness. And I want to adjust the camera a little bit. Uh, I think I'm cutting the top of my head off just a bit. All right. You're a good little thing. Come here. Get it up just a touch. As, as I again wonder... Wait, what? You can start a new timer while the old one is still, like, setting off the alarm? That's crazy. It's crazy. Oh, we were, I think we're five or six uh, levels out of nine into Halo 4. It's, uh, the conflict in it is hilarious to me because they just keep raising the stakes, but then they do the thing I think they should do versus raising the stakes, which is try and make the conflict be like interpersonal, like have the... Uh, they have, he has like a new, I stopped it and he kept going. He has like a new CO or whatever you call it, a new commanding officer guy who's like, Hey, Halo, you need to do what I say. You're an old man in a relic from another time. And I'm like, wait, what? I'm pretty sure like, at least in my direct experience with my father and my buddy in the Navy and stuff, that the... The training and, and such is to respect the elders and the people with experience. It's crazy. I, I, I've i seen it firsthand. They all, everyone who's a veteran gets deference. It's uh, very interesting. Maybe that guy thinks he's more veteran than, than Halo Spartan, John Spartan, whatever the fuck his name is. Just John. John Halo. It's like a joke been made a million times, right? Let's do four more. Two, three, four. Uh, the, these are getting a little, not boring, the, the exercises, but day to day, you know, I mean, I do them. 
they used to be a little more interesting. Maybe I'm just quickly like, tired of things. Um, for site news, uh, Andy got his test, uh, but he doesn't have the results from it. Um, unfortunately, the place he tested at, uh, I'm not sure why, but their results are up to seven days later. And then they also won't notify you if you don't have it, uh, which means I think his paperwork said five to seven days, which means that day five, he has to start wondering if, if they will call him or not for the next five, six, and day five, six, and seven, he's in a crazy limbo, right? I kind of get it. When I went to the operating room at uh, St. Mary's, they demanded I have a COVID test and I never got the results on it. Uh, it was about three or four days before. It needed to be like at least three days to make sure they could do it, but not more than like four or five days because it needed to still be valid and all this stuff. It's just like instantly not valid, but whatever, let's stop nitpicking it. The, I was sitting in the hospital and I said, hey, I never got the results on that. And they were like, oh, look, if it was positive, you wouldn't be here. And I was like, oh, okay, well, interesting. Fair enough. So I didn't realize that perhaps as a, uh, I thought maybe you could be positive and then they would just have different uh, procedures they went through and just be like, oh, okay, this guy's a COVID positive. So we put him in over here and we do a lot more stuff. Like, no, we just wouldn't work on you. <laughs> oh, fuck. You know, uh, there's probably some version of uh, the fact that I got my surgery done when I did is coming slightly in under the wire within the last couple of days they've uh, signed new orders that are like elective surgeries have to be like vetted more and more harshly for whether or not uh, they'll be done uh, in order to try and maintain ICU capacity. Um, for people who don't know, the ICU capacity where they're like, we have one bed and we have no beds, it's not exactly like, do they have a bed? They literally have a bed. It can be a lot of things. It, it can they could have more beds and not enough nurses. They could they also are like, is this a bed reserved for COVID and not for someone that had a fucking heart attack or an embolism or any other thing that lands you in an ICU? So don't make those mistakes people would make where they would like drive up to hospital and be like, Where are all the sick people? It's like, well the IC it's the ICU beds for COVID. On top of the ICU is for ICU. Okay, guys. It's, 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 a, it's a good thing. We don't want it to be like we, all, we dropped everything in favor of treating COVID. There's probably people who would think that's, that's like the way we should go. Uh, and I could see it. But it's, yeah, they got to still have room for people who get run over by a car and need intensive care and such. It's... It's a real fucker. That's a big, covers up my entire head. Um, so yeah, we're, we're waiting on the Andy thing. We'll probably, I think, I think technically because it's up to seven days, uh, where they'll notify him whether he has it. That technically means we're going to miss out on another recording. Um, I helped him get, uh, groceries and stuff yesterday wearing masks, you know, all the, everything we could do, drop off the stuff and he's in the gateway and I'm out way out in the car and stuff. Uh, so hopefully that should be fine if he's contagious. Uh, he doesn't, he, he says he feels better. I do believe the standard uh, progression from what I've read is uh, you don't get some symptoms and then none you get some symptoms and then more worse symptoms uh, for the for the 40 percent that go a asymptomatic uh i think that's the right term have no symptoms so like asymptomatic makes sense uh they just don't have symptoms or they have incredibly light versions of them that they confuse for like i had a headache you know actually i think headache is one of the ones that that you don't get when you're asymptomatic uh I have to double check. I'm all, all off the top of my head here. 
All right, we're moving into the final stretches here. We did that one, we did that one, we did that one, we did that one. Yeah, I guess we did three of those. <laughs> it's faster than normal. Um, so yeah, we're, we're plugging through the, uh, the Man Crush Monday for Halo. Put my hands here, put my shoulders down, head flat. Eight, nine, ten. We're plugging through that. Um, Got to put up some of that Gen Z footage. I think that would help just like keep content pumping through the channel. You know, I don't, I don't feel like, well, the numbers show that people watch these, but not a ton of people watch them. Not as much as watch our, our playthroughs of other stuff. Um, I was talking to CDMW the other day though, and I, I agree with him. It's like, you know, you could, I'm putting it up for a lot of reasons, not just for people to look at it. And also someone might, like one person might look at it in the future as a gamer who had also a distal tendon rupture and be like, oh, cool, this guy went through that. Look at his progress, you know. I think about weird things. When when will I stop wearing sweatpants all the time and go back to like my khakis or whatever, you know, my dress pants, my, my work pants? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Um... You know, when, uh, yeah, when will I stop doing that? Because it's, it's comfy. Uh, when the pants are literally, you know, going to get worn out faster than ever. Um, they put up a bunch of new signs in our neighborhood for the, for walking on the street. Because uh, we happen to just, you know, luck of the draw a needle in a haystack. We are on one of the only blocks out of two that I know of where the city with like proper authority, not just like neighborhood banded together and decided to do it, like closed the street and you're only supposed to drive on it to get to your house. So you can't drive block to block to block. And I, because I want like vitamin D and I want exercise, workout benefits and stuff, I go out and I walk on the street and hey, the street's closed, it's a novelty, you know, and I walk on the street the way it's been closed and provided for us to walk. But in the, in the, in the last month or two, it's like, I'll be walking along and people just run you over. And okay, you know, I, I get it. You got to drive down the street. And if I hear you coming, I usually hedge over so you can get by easily. Uh, but then I watch and the block is, is flat and it goes on. Uh, it's all alphabetical. I'm on the queues and it goes all the way to the park, uh, the I. And I'm watching this car drive down, 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 down. And it's just block, block after block. It's driving. The other day, I watched four cars just bumper to bumper drive down all the way to the park, to Golden Gate Park. And I'm like, God damn it, you know? So they put up new signs, and I think it actually helped. So that's good. I've I've, I've been run over less. Uh, when it was yesterday was Martin Luther King uh, Day, and holy moly, were there cars out? Just out. I mean, people were just out. It was a warm day. It was up to 76 at one point, I want to say. Uh, so there I was whining about it the other day. Like, well, now today, let's see if it picks it up. Yeah, only 63. I wonder if that includes the wind chill. It, it, uh, that wind. That wind was brutal out there. But yeah, there's, now there's no one out there. And I had to drive through the park to go to my PT and back. And it, the funny thing is there was tons of people in cars, but not that many people in the park. And we've just hit this breaking point where you definitely see people without masks now. You also see like a couple where like one is wearing a mask and one isn't. And you're like, oh, that's, that's super interesting, you know. They're just pushing people, man. They keep pushing and pushing them. I don't know what they can do. Can they not push them? Would that be worse? At this point, if you stop pushing at all, is it the... Uh, coca-cola airplane advertising thing where they asked the coca-cola guy like dude everyone knows coke why do you even advertise anymore and he's like once you get an airplane in the air you don't turn the engine off and i was like oh wow that's 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 an easily relatable like that's a great way to put it where i'm like okay yeah sure all right let's do these last stretches and call it um gotta think of you know, some more, more interesting talk, things to talk about. Or we're, we're like tangentially talking about COVID here, but uh, 